Hey everyone, I'm Carrie Little, Caremark Realty Group. I'm the managing broker owner. And really quickly, before I go into an appointment, I thought I'd talk to you about condo ownership versus townhouse ownership. So I'll keep it really simple. What do you really want and what should you buy? And what's the difference? Now, when you purchase a condo, it's like owning an apartment. You're going to share a building with several other owners. So you might have to go up the stairs, you might be on the first level, your utilities might be included, they might not be included. So it's like whenever you rent an apartment, same kind of scenario. You will also have an association fee. So you will be responsible for taking care of the roof, what's on top, you'll be responsible for the hallways, you'll be responsible if there's, uh, let's say there's a gym or a community center, you will be responsible for taking care of the outside of the building. In those fees, you might also have um, your shoving, shoveling taken care of. If there is a garage space, that could be a community garage. So owning a condo is almost like living in a townhouse. I'm sorry, like living in an apartment. So really, what do you really need? And if you are someone that just likes a small space, that could work out great. Now, if you're living in like a downtown area, high rises are great because then you can oversee things like the lake or you can oversee the city. Many times, um, the, uh, the same thing with the townhouse, there are some similarities. Now, if you own a townhouse, your association fees might often cover the shoveling, um, might often cover cutting the grass, so you don't have to take care of any of that. Now, when you own a townhouse, there can be a difference. Now, there are some townhouse communities where when you own the townhouse, you actually own the land underneath. In some scenarios with a townhouse, you may have an association where it's like a condo. Now, the townhouse that I own, I'm in a condo townhouse, but the house looks like a townhouse. So the difference is, is I only own the walls in. But here's the benefit. Three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, two car garage, full finished basement. I have my own backyard area. Now it is covered by the association, so I don't really own the backyard space, but I can actually walk out to the backyard. We can barbecue back there. Um, the kids can play in the backyard. So there are some differences. Like when you own a condo, you may not be allowed, if you have a balcony, to have a grill on the balcony. And that could be because they want to make sure it isn't a fire hazard. And the other great thing about a townhouse is it's like I have my own space. So it's like having a house. Um, hey, thanks for joining me. But I can actually come in and out of my own door, I have my own garage, and I have my own um, exit, so entrance and exit. Now with the same thing with the townhouse and a condo, you do have those association fees. Now with the townhouse, you are going to be responsible for the electric, you're going to be responsible for the gas, you're going to be responsible for the water, you're going to be responsible for the cable, you are going to be responsible for all of your utilities. Now with some condo associations, the water, the gas, the electricity, and sometimes basic cable can be included. And oftentimes with condos, your association fees can be higher. So here's what I want you to do. When you're ready to buy a house, I want, or a townhouse versus a condo, hey, thanks for joining me, I'm Carrie. If you're gonna buy a house, a townhouse or a condo, I want you to do a side-by-side -side report and then I want you to determine what's best for you. So determine if the association fees are too high, do I really wanna deal with condo association fees, and then with the townhouse. Because in some scenarios, the townhouse association fees might not be too high. Many people don't go into townhouses because they don't like the association fee. But you won't have to cut the grass, you won't have to shovel the snow, someone's gonna do it for you. So at the end of the day, what do you really need? Now the other things you need to know about condos and townhouses, if they are classified as condos, the difference is you if you're getting a mortgage and you're not going conventional, you have to make sure that the uh, unit or the units are approved for FHA. So if you're getting an FHA loan, you actually have to do research. Now the real estate agent or your loan officer can help you, but if you simply Google FHA approved condos, 
you can find out if they are approved and if they'll accept FHA. Otherwise, there's some townhouse or condo associations where they haven't renewed their FHA status. And there's other reasons why they don't qualify for FHA, but you might want to send me a private message or call me to talk about that. So those are some great tips. Um, the other thing, hey, thanks for joining me. I'm Carrie. The other thing you should know about a townhouse is if the unit um, where you own the land, so let's say you have a townhouse and there you have a survey, you actually have lot dimensions, you don't have to worry about if it's approved FHA um, because it will automatically qualify. Um, as long as the uh, townhouse meets the requirements, meaning it doesn't need a whole lot of work. So those are my tips. I would say you need to do what's best for you. If you want to buy a condo or a townhouse, either one works, but what do you really want? For me, I would want my own entrance. Some people love the, the downtown areas like downtown Chicago. That would be a great way to start home ownership and you have your own space. You might have your own garage, but you might be on a higher level. Thanks for joining me. If you have more questions, feel free to send a private message. Feel free to go to my website, caremarkrealty.com, or you can send an email, or you can simply call or text, and all my information is in the About To section. Again, I'm Carrie Little, a Managing Broker Owner with Caremark Realty Group. Contact me today, and I'll tell you how I can get you into a house with little to no money down.